Hello everyone, welcome back to SFDC Ninja and I am back with fourth video of Apex Test Class series. In today's video, we are going to see how we can write test class for Qable Apex. So without any further delay, let's get started. So this is our class. Guys, I hope that you already have a basic idea of Qable Apex. Now the purpose of this class is to create a new contact related to a specified account and then update the account description field with the name of newly created contact. In this class, here we have a variable of account which will hold the reference to the account for which the contact will be created. This is the constructor of the class. Basically, it takes the account object as parameter and assign it to this variable. Guys, this constructor is used to initialize the class with the specific account for which the contact will be created. After that, we have this execute method in which we are creating a new contact record associated with this account. And at last, we are updating accounts description by the name of this contact. So this is what the class is doing. Now the thing is how we can start a test class. I mean what data is needed for a test class. But before all these things, first let's create a test class. Copy this class name. File new apex class. Paste it here and just add test. And to make this class a test class, we just need to use at the rate is test annotation here like this. Let's create our method public static void. Let's say test queuable method. Similarly, we will use at the rate is test annotation here to make this method a test method. Now I see this class is creating a contact on an account. So the very first thing we need in our test class is an account record. So let's create an account record here. Account, let's say test account. New account. Test account dot name will be test account. Insert it. Now in this class, this constructor is taking account record as parameter. That's why we will pass this account record that we have created here as parameter in it. Now similar to batch class, we cannot call our queuable class method like this. Uh, let's say if we do something like this. Queuable dot execute. Let's try to save it. And we will get an error. That method does not exist. So for that what we will do, we will first create an instance of class like this. Let's say queuable job new class name. And we will pass the account record that we have created here as parameter like this. Basically this tells the class which account it should work with. I mean by this line we are providing the account record on which the contact should be created. Now we will enqueue this queuable job for asynchronous execution using system.enqueueJob method like this. System.enqueueJob copy this name paste it here. Basically when you enqueue a job it will be executed by Salesforce platform when resources become available. Also, it is very important to use test.startTest and test.stopTest method to avoid governor limits. So let's use them here. Test.startTest and test.stopTest. Now our next step is to verify that the contact was created or not. So for that what we will do, we will fetch contact which is related to this account in a list like this. List contact, let's say created contacts, select ID, first name, last name, let's say primary contact. from contact 
where account id equals to this account id and we will use system dot asset equals to verify that the contact was created or not let's see how let's use system dot assert equals guys see if a contact was created then it should be present in this list which means size of this list will be one that's why in expected parameter we will pass one like this and in actual parameter we will pass the size of this list so copy its name paste it here dot size and if these expected and actual result do not match then simply we will display a message like this expected one contact to be created so here we have verified the result for first operation of the class which was creating a related contact on account now it's time to verify the second operation which is updating accounts description by contact name so for that let's search data of account which is created here like this account updated account select name id description from account where id equals to copy this account record name paste it here dot id and let's use another system dot asset equals like this now i see whenever a contact gets inserted on an account then the value of description will be contacts first name space and then contacts last name and according to the class value of last name is hard coded contact and value of first name is account name therefore we will create same value of description for the expected result in system dot assert equals so first create a string variable for expected description so first create a string variable for expected description here let's say string expected description go to class again copy this paste it here for first name it should be updated account dot name so copy this variable paste it here dot name and last name should be hard coded value contact so let's write contact here and put this variable in expected result copy this paste it here and in second parameter put the actual description value copy this account variable again paste it here dot description and for the message we will write count description not updated as expected save it and let's run it click on run test so our test class has been passed with 100 percent code coverage that's it for today guys and i'll be back with more interesting test class scenarios thank you and keep supporting